a recap of last session. I know it was a few weeks ago, but boy, uh, <laughs> if not, I think we I didn't pay the toll. <laughs> so, oh yeah, <laughs> stab that fake ass vampires and shit. And one ended up being double doppelganger and shit. Yes, uh, yeah, you. Uh, this is uh, we're going to session five, but yeah, the last session, yeah, you you started, you continued your way through the the uh, pass, and you followed uh, what end up being. Uh, vampires in disguise there were mostly humans and a couple doppelgangers uh, dressed up as uh, such vampires there were there was uh, a toll being placed uh, paid and then the rest of you just said the hell with you I know what you are you're not who you really say you are mm -hmm. and then fights and fights and fights pursued um, I think mean, of... I do have a 17 pass with <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else that happened. I uh, usually I'm really good on this, but yeah, you you came up that way. Oh yeah, that's you also fought the uh, the mirror uh, creatures. Uh, four of them end up coming yeah. out, and uh, Roxanne still has a little bit of a strength. Uh, mm. Mm, Oh, Deba. Yeah, nerf. dude. <laughs> yeah, nerf. That's what it was. I was like, Boone. I was like, no, that's not it. Um, <laughs> what's that? Not a Boone, but the opposite. Yeah, the opposite one. Yeah. Anti Boone. <laughs> yeah. uh. Uh, let's see. Anything else of true value happen? You came up that way. You, I know that's... the curse guy is gone. That's right. Uh,. He will be in about uh, you know thirty seconds or so, <laughs> but yeah, you made it through there. You came north. You found you found uh, Shira found a sword. He grabbed it, and he's the only one that heard the psychic um, messages, basically of uh, uh, pacifism and nonviolence. And you got a really cool sword, but you know. Most of that stuff I can just throw away because uh, you know. Um, stuff happens but yeah then you made your way up you found this um uh, statues you found fake vampires i think that's that is about what happened last time uh all right so you find yourself at the end of this battle and uh sid are you still on the ceiling or did you come down after the fighting stopped Yeah, that's the fighting stop. I came down. Okay. Uh, so as ten, ten rounds for sure. <laughs> so as the party um, starts gathering, you know, looking around the room, look for some some random things. Uh, Shiro starts acting funny, and like you can see, like up until this time, you you've seen his. Uh, well, I guess you most of the time you haven't seen his weapons in action. You see like the effects of it, and you you know he's. You assume that he's the one that's doing the damage because he's throwing gestures and things like that but you never see it most of the time i think he did show you once that he does have these blades that he can uh create and that are mostly invisible but he does have this uh big long sword uh, attached to his, his uh his back and you, you can see him like turn over his shoulder and like he's he's arguing with somebody but you know the over his right shoulder that he's looking over there's no one there and then, you know, all of a sudden, he's just like, I, I, I want to fight. I want to fight. You can't tell me not not to. And then you know, all of a sudden, you see him run away, run away. No, I moved the door. I didn't mean to move the door. <laughs> and then, poof, he's gone. <laughs> there was no stopping that little oh, half leg. <laughs> what happened? Do you have a map up? Uh... Yes. Yeah, I think I, I just learned that you should be in there now. Yeah, I had to scroll around a little bit before yeah, I Yeah, you it. should be. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it always wants to put you all the way to the north. <laughs> I, and I sometimes I forget to uh, move you down. But this is, uh, you see, uh, you know, this little halfling with his, you know, sword is pretty much dragging on the ground on the stone, and he's, he's yelling at it, you know. At first it was look like he's miming something or not miming but you know talking to his head telepathically arguing with it and then then it becomes 
you know, actual vocal, and then he's running away, looking at a sword, and you know, got, you hear him clinking through the hallway, and uh, see, yeah, he would have found this door and opened it, and he would have left it open because uh, <laughs> you're like a trip and fall, and then like and then groan, like <laughs> a couple times you hear some stuttering of footsteps, but uh, the floor is yours now. Uh, and Lolly Bear still has uh, like forty-five minutes of bear form. I think that's uh, that's about right. But the floor is yours now. You uh, you're in this hallway. You see three statues that are uh, of Water Davian nobles. So that's what you assume that had uh, writings of who they were and in goblin and higgs is the only one that can truly understand this right now is uh it's been scribbled out to stupid face and smelly bottle or stupid skull and bone hold up i put this in the spot where i can't see it um yeah goblin right come on why are you not moving but yeah, from your current spot, you see the there's a door to your uh, to the east. You see stairs going up that go north. You see another doorway hallway that goes to the west. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna check this uh, door here. So that door um, opens up. There's another hallway down there, and at the end of the hallway, uh, it's uh, 10, 20, 30, 40. It's 50 feet down the hallway. It, it curves around to the south. Uh, and you, even though you haven't spent a lot of time down here, you you get a strong sense of that it is just a... continuous, a different way. Like you went through the door right. that was immediately to the uh, to the west, but you would figure that would loop around and um, go back to essentially the starting area. Mm -hmm. Very good with directions. <laughs> You are. You have a pretty good survival, don't you? Mm, <laughs> sure. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good mm. enough one. <laughs> it's a positive, I do believe, yes. It is higher than a 10. <laughs> or right. higher than zero. Better than average. That's mm -hmm. right. Better than average. Uh, is anybody doing anything special or you know, looking around for... Trinkets? You already lose the body? Uh, you did not. I just piled them together just to get out of the way. Um, but if you want to go ahead and uh, search the bodies, you can go ahead and throw out an investigation check, please. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to use my mage hand to not get my hand dirty here. But investigation here? Yes. Rolling, 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 rolling. Ugh. Not good. Six. Am I doing with my six? So I mean, Higgs is looking around, and you know he's kind of distracted by the these goblin statue or the, the goblin scratch what out uh, statue. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, how dare they disrespect me? I don't expect me. to find anything good on these fucking things. Uh, but Sid is, uh, you know, he's not really worried about that. He's more uh, concerned about these bodies over here and. Between all five of them, he finds uh, 16 gold in uh, separated, and they have little pouches on them. They don't have a lot of gold on them, but it is 16 the gold. The money we just gave them. Sure <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Plus, uh, the yeah, so 26. I forgot to add that. Yeah. <laughs> So you would have found, yeah, the 10 that uh, Shiro gave them, plus they had an additional 16 on them as well. Uh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Good luck to you, Shiro. Whatever is going on, <laughs> going crazy. I figure he got a curse thing that he's already like a psychic based kind of thing. They might, might have actually drove him nuts. There was there was tears of torture, um, and he didn't even get the tier two. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see if you're there. Um, actually, Higgs, can you throw out a perception check? Sure can. That's even worse. Oh. Nine. 
Let me work on the numbers. I give everyone seven gold. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, from from where you're at, it uh, doesn't seem to be a... Uh, uh, quick. All right, so even though you had shitty perception, um, somewhere... <laughs> <laughs> somewhere to the uh to the west um like down that l western hallway you hear uh let's see higgs you're a sailor right the quarter, quarter, yeah. oh. all right well yeah you've been around enough uh, uh um ill intent people you you kind of hear the no. sounds of uh Gambling, you know, the, the oh, uh, 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 17. <laughs> there you go, yeah, even better. See, that's uh, yeah, with your passive, yeah, they're they're not being quiet. <laughs> yeah, you hear like off to the distance, um, to more to the west, uh, just sounds of like you know, coins being tossed onto the table, uh, I don't know why they sound like Sims, but, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you hear like a heated argument type of thing going off to, to the West. I try to wave at everybody to get their attention and be like, Hey, over here. Point. <laughs> Does anybody follow? Yeah, I, well, I have to take this. I, have to, I can mind link all three of them. I, not at the same time, but one after another and be like, uh, <clears throat> this uh, seems to be a confrontation going on over here. Seems to be a confrontation going on over here. Oh. Confrontation or gamble? I mean, yeah, I guess gambling could sound like confrontation. That was heated, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can hear like the sounds of. You know the sound of argument. You can't fully hear what they're saying, but yeah, it is. It is that up and down and. Uh, inflection. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, the more he's uh, around the corner. Uh, as you head around the corner, yeah, you see um, our hallway. There's a door to the north, uh, and from where you're at, yeah, you, that's pretty much all you see. You see some sconces in the uh, in the corners. There's some, uh, you know, yeah, lit hallways. You know, uh, kind of lighten up some of the the darkness because always I mean, a lit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know that most of them are humans and they can't really see, so they need some way to see down here. Uh, uh, but, see down <laughs> but yeah, definitely as you uh, cl uh, get closer to that door to the north, that's, you know, those sounds are, are start starting to come a little clearer of, uh, no, I'm not cheating. This is, this is how you play the game. Mm -hmm. When you hear like a couple other voices, no, 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 you're supposed to, no, no, no. It's like no, you will not, you will not disrespect me in my 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 place. Hmm. I look back to see if I'm if my party's following me here. Is uh Sid and Lolly hey. following and or? Yeah, follow it. Our thing's rolling. Is anyone else rolling real slow in roll twenty? I mean, it's like so laggy. I can barely use it. Any it was idea? a little laggy. I mean, I I just roll through the D and D Beyond thing. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I can't. As far as the map. Uh, All right. Well, like I said, uh, I'll try to yeah, be we'll more follow. descriptive. But uh, I assume you're you're following behind. But um, yeah. yeah, you're right behind there. You're you're within uh distance of everybody but yeah uh just more heated sounds of uh you know people are playing cards and you know arguing and there's definitely one that seems more pompous than the other almost like he's the leader and stuff like that so mm. well uh, i look back at the rest of the group and see that they're paying attention i just open up the door i do the nod where he knows i i know what i know what's going on yeah 
Uh, you open that door, and uh, there's another, there's a small hallway and another door. Um, yeah, and you open that first door, and it is, you know, it intensifies. Be like, <coughs> you hear <coughs> one voice uh, saying, uh, mm, <laughs> Utaro, God, uh, we know you're cheating. Admit it. I am not cheating. This is how you play. I should... Well, then why is it every time you deal, you win? Luck of the cards. I cannot control it. I mean, <laughs> they're just going back and forth. And uh, you hear at least four distinct voices. Open so, up. Gaming. When, <laughs> gaming commission. When, gaming commission. <laughs> so when you <laughs> open that door, um, yeah, you see four individuals um, all dressed, looking like vampires. Uh, you see uh, they're playing on this shitty table uh i mean looks like it should have broke a while ago but it is held up by a prayer um you see you know a pot of gold in the middle you see um a bathtub with a uh fresco on the northern wall um but as you walk as you bust in the door uh the guy at the, the head um uh this guy he pops up he goes who are you? Are you part of their schemes to, to say that I've been cheating in this? Well, one, um, do we know? I forgot. Are we looking for somebody? I feel like we're looking for somebody. Are we looking for somebody? I don't think we are. We're in the mad somebody. Yeah, well, I thought there was somebody that we were supposed to keep an eye out for. But anyway, uh, like, uh, yes, uh, but that's not them. <laughs> okay. So, so he's just them. <laughs> Uh, we're here to investigate the claims of, of cheating and just and just. I will chance. not have any of this. I play fair and square. All right. Uh, keep your voice down. <laughs> you we're, we're not, you we're come not in. To be yelled at, so. You come into my house and then you accuse me of cheating. Get out of here right now. There was no accusation, but you were not to talk to us in this manner. Get out. I don't think it's like your house. I mean, it's more like... There is my bed. I sleep there. <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> We're going yeah. to do you a favor. And I, and I pull my sword out. Put that away. That We have no room for that here. Us undertakers will do not take kindly to that. I'm tired of you fake motherfuckers. <laughs> you will die here today. <laughs> On guard. <laughs> All right. Um, let me pull this up before I tell you, because I always fuck that up. Um, mm -hmm. There we go. All right. So go ahead and roll initiative. Where is Bam? I'm going to roll my, uh, I, I don't know what my uh, dice are. Do you remember what they are? Uh, my important, dice. important dice now. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Show me it. So John, we have not slept in a long time. I am yeah, short. Yeah. Well, Man. we but we haven't really. Not a lot of time has actually passed. Yeah. Yet. No. Yeah, you pretty much. You came off the boat. You did some shopping, <laughs> and uh, you came yeah. down here. So waited to get the drop down in the barrel and the bucket or whatever. And... Yeah, I mean, I I know it has not been long. I'm just. I'm just getting short. Yeah, I'm looking honestly. at my resource. Yeah, I mean, my resources. Are... I mean, you're gonna like have to take a years. you're gonna have to take yeah. a rest sometime. <laughs> uh, yeah. if, if you wanted to go through twenty three levels, uh, you're gonna be uh, shit out of luck. <laughs> That's fair. At some point, we we will have to. Some greater restoration sort take away <laughs> those exhaustion levels and shit. Uh, okay. So, so did you uh, sit in uh, uh, Lala? Did you roll your initiative? Your initiative? I got ten. Yeah, thirteen. Ten and thirteen. Okay. Uh. 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 Dying. Thirteen. Right. And uh, I don't remember if uh, Jess, you were here, but so in in bear form, you would have, you still have your um. Mage armor up, which is 13 plus your decks of, in this case, your bear. You would still have your two other pieces, the uh, staff of defense and your uh, ring of defense. The shield would yep. not carry over, though. All the other okay. things would, though. Okay. Uh, all right. 
so with that would uh were you were you gonna be closer before this happened or were you kind of back in that hallway where it looks like you are we're uh, yeah we're moved up with everybody i can't even see our pieces okay so i mean you're at this se the, the second door the mo more southern door so i don't know if you would have been up closer when they barged the door or not but i would give yeah, you that yeah i would i would have been i just couldn't get, move my piece or anything so yeah i'm always definitely once they started engaging me definitely would have moved up there okay so i will put you uh lolly right at the door and then sid right behind if that's okay so you're at this door and it's a pretty wide door um you see uh four vampires one of them uh at the head of the table uh people are accusing him of cheating um but yeah you have uh first you are first up who uh lolly the bear the bear the bears the bears yeah there you go and invite the first first vampire yeah right uh all right where's that at? uh so i will move you unless you tell me otherwise i'm going to move you right here in the corner so you see oh, this van okay. i mean if you want to move different that's fine but i figured uh uh you're right there and go ahead and swing on this vampire okay. Yeah, we're good. Did you uh, just, uh did you roll yet? Because I'm not seeing anything come through. Oh yeah, I rolled a five for the bite. But that's nice. Uh, that's... <laughs> so yeah, uh, you go to bite this that's one. So it's a 10 total? No, wait, it's plus 7, so it would have been... 12? Yeah. Yeah, plus so... 7. Plus 7, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that uh, 12 in total. Yeah, you're going to take a bite out of this vampire, and, you know, he's he's got some sway to him. They've been drinking, and, you know, you go to bite, and then he kind of just naturally just dodges out of the way. Um, that is a miss on that. Uh, like claw. Go for the claw. Or 19. 19. 19 will hit. Go ahead and roll that damage. <laughs> For nine. For nine. Okay. It doesn't like it, but it is. I thought you were on our side. You accused Yuktaro of cheating. Why are you attacking us? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And holy shit, why the fuck is there a bear here? <laughs> I know. Uh all right. Uh any anything else from the bear? Lolly the bear. That is it. Okay. So this vampire is up next. So he is the one against the uh right side of the table of the room. What do they have? Uh <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't want to get close to this bear, so, like, he reaches down beside him, and there happens to be a crossbow down there. He brings it up, and he's like, get out of here, bear. <laughs> and then he's going to shoot his crossbow at Lolly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 414, I think that misses. Matter of fact, I know that misses. <laughs> and he's going to... Be, he's going to uh, yeah, if you were, you were, uh, he's gonna get up and then it's a bear. He's going to hide in, even though you don't see it, he's gonna jump into this tub and then curl down into it. Like, get the fucking bear out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that is his turn. He doesn't have multi attack. Uh, Higgs, you're up with Sid on deck. Actually, so, um, real quick, what's Sid's uh, dex? My dex yeah. is uh, 16. 16. Uh, so Sid would actually go first. Do you want to allow him, or do you want to? Yeah, that's fine. All right, let me right. change this real quick. quick. Uh, I can see the guy with the crossbow, right? 
Yes. Um, <laughs> no, because he's he's behind. He's in the tub, so he essentially has three quarter cover, and he's lay, he's he's laying down. Oh wait, the guy that saw the crossbow one to tell him what a fuck. Yeah, he saw a bear come in out of nowhere, and then he missed, so he ran away. <laughs> All right, who do I see? There's two other ones, right? There's uh, three others at the table. Um, three more vampires. The one at the not in the tub. Um, he's the one that was accusing you, uh, being accused of cheating, and um, right, yeah, yeah. I, I I I cast hold person on the cheater, and I uh, I use my uh, portent dice to make sure he gets a four. Four. Okay, hold person. <laughs> Uh, is that a save at the end of his turn, correct? Yeah, it's a wisdom save. All right, so he is currently, he is held, and he is a humanoid, so that does work. Um, let's see. Uh, what is a good symbol? Uh, this will be good enough. All right. Uh, anything else from Sid? That. Let me just check one thing real quick and then I'll be done. So that was your action. Um, yeah, even from where you're at, I don't know if you would have moved up. Uh, you're technically 15 feet away from the door, but I think you would still have plenty of sight. You would have saw him at, yeah, you would still see him anyway. All right. Well, I'll move up a little bit. Uh, yeah, just move me up like 10 or 15 feet. Okay. Can't uh, get up that far. Alright. Uh, Higgs, you are up. Oh, hold on a second. Man. <laughs> Actually, I need to, uh, I got to call anyway. Give me one second. I got to answer the work call real quick. Give me one second. Turn. Um... So you see uh, the bear come in, it misses uh, its bite, it misses, uh, it hits, it attacks with its claw. Uh, the one guy looks like uh, he went to go start to move and start arguing and he's back to uh, being held. He's not doing anything. So the one that looks different than the other ones, what's, what is he like wearing? What's he look like? Um, he looks similar in vampire form, you know, teeth, fangs, uh, his stuff just looks a little, uh, fancier, uh, let's uh, see, uh, he's not wearing armor, there. is he? Uh, he is wearing, there it's not saying what he's wearing, uh, ooh. uh, it's um, he's wearing armor for, sh well, mm. You won't be able to see it, but he is wearing armor. Uh, it doesn't yeah. sound too uh, clickety clackety, okay. more, more like leathery. All right. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right. Uh, so Higgs is going to move. To, so Lolly would actually be like moved up to like into these squares. Right? Yeah, I think she would be more here. Yeah. So, all right. So Higgs is going to make his way around over here. And then, um, so you're gonna, standing on oh. the table, is what you're telling me. <laughs> oh, that's right. On the table, huh? I kick the table out of the way as I move into that square. It's super rickety, so you oh. you kick it, and then you hear all this chains, clink, 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 or all gold pieces hit yeah. the ground as it, that's right. it just crumbles. <laughs> First yeah, that was the effect I was going for, uh, <laughs> but um. I'm getting all these notifications. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> all right. Um. So anyways, he's gonna uh just uh he's gonna attack the one that's in between himself and Lolly here. Okay. Uh, or attack. That looks like a. Natural 20. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, so. Um, roll that damage. All right, so I don't know what to do with this, so I'll just roll a D8. Oh, all right, that's too bad. 
So six plus, yeah, so 14 plus seven, 21 points. 21 points. Damage. And there then, um, I'm going to throw, well, is he still up? With 21, yes, he is still up, but he is starting to bleed. Okay, well, I'm going to throw a... Gray um, blood, or silver blood. Um, oh. <laughs> becomes a defensive flourish. Oh, okay. Right? So that is a D8. But two of them, because it's a critical. So, not too bad, though. 14 more points. Ooh. He is looking okay. rough. Damn, it's still up. Yeah. Oh, okay, but then that uh, I'll take the eight as the my AC. So um, I'm at a 28 AC right now. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean they they have the appearance every all the the appearance of uh, you know vampires, and as you're slashing away, you're seeing this uh, oddly enough silver blood come out of it. It's kind of uh, weird, yeah. right? You're like, why why does this vampire exactly. have silver? <laughs> Uh, yeah. anything else that was movement, action, bonus action, uh, um, uh, mm, no, All right. that's, I'll tell you what, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to click my heels. <laughs> okay. So speed, know, yeah. speedy gone, uh, Higgins, um, yeah, uh, the flex of flourish, is that a bonus or is that a free action? That's just, yeah, there's no cost for that. Okay. Ah, mm. uh, good to know for future. Uh, okay. Up next is Uktarl. Uh, Uktarl. Uh, he's held, so he gets a save. Correct? Is that at the end of his turn, Dave or Sid? I believe so. Get up real quick. Well, I don't. Yeah, let's see. Whole person, whole person. Where are you? I know. I actually didn't. Well, never mind. I was going to say I wasn't even. I was joking about clicking my heels, but I'll leave them on. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize I was muted. Yeah, it's the end of his turn. Yeah, right. Wisdom save 16. Wisdom save of 16. And now that I close everything, I got to find it again. <laughs> um, it's not that one. Uh, Wisdom save coming at you. You see him start to try to struggle as he, you know, is trying to free himself up, and then you know, before you know, he's he's he stops struggling <laughs> as he fails that save horribly. Um, Roxana, you are up. Great. You saw the um, guy shoot, try to shoot the bear, miss, jump into the bathtub. You see this guy wiggling, well, wiggling a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. You see silver blood coming out of the one to the south. Yeah, I mean, I was going to do something, and I had it all measured out, and then Higgs ran to the one spot <laughs> I really didn't want him to go to, so it's cool. So flaming uh, hands, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so, 100%. So I was like, ah, oh, perfect. And then I was like, never mind. Um, though, yeah, nope. Uh, great. I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take a swing at him instead of throwing any spells or anything because fun. Now, which one are you swinging at? The one can I hit? Yeah, can I hit the one that nobody's hit yet? That one in um in front sure to the can? north to the north of me. Up, I assume up is just north. So yeah, the vampire right to the north of you. Yeah, no problem. Go for it. <laughs> Winging away with Lightbringer. Oh, God, that's why I don't do that. TM. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, once again, you know, these, these people have a little bit of a sway to them, right? They're kind of heated and sweaty and, you know, you, you, you kind of just brush, brush his armor and you hear the squeak of, uh, you know, your light bringer against his, uh, his, uh, his fancy clothing. Well, fancy for him as it just kind of. Right off of it. <laughs> sure. Uh, just still not used to the balance of this thing. It's just, it doesn't feel quite right. Yes. It'll get better. You had a whole week to practice with it. You know, you're on the boat. You could have played with it. 
the uh, dummies I hit just didn't do anything. Like they didn't this. fight back. Uh, any bonus action or more movement? Uh, n- no, I'm just going to stand there with my shield. Okay. Uh, and pretend like I didn't miss him. All right. Up next uh, is that guy. And since you slung on him, he is going to... Uh, Pull out a scimitar, and I don't know why he's not trying to bite you with his teeth, you know, because that would be a vampire but uh, he's going to swing. Ooh, uh, he's going to swing at you for a 22 to hit. That does hit. And he's going to do a whopping two points of slashing damage. Ouch. <laughs> uh, yep. And he does not get, um, he probably should have, uh, yep, he is... Uh, yeah, he is going to, um, he's going to be like, whoa, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, um, take the gold, take the gold, take the gold. Um, yeah, that's his turn. Uh, next is the vampire to the south. Uh, I'll just, uh, get, but before it goes, oh, wait, it's already her turn, but yeah, I'll just be like, are, why are we, these guys, they really seem like not that great, like, I feel kind of bad. Like his <laughs> uh, yeah, the one to the south. He's got a bear in his face, and uh, oh, he is completely surrounded. Um, that dude's in a bad spot. Let me roll. Let me roll something for him real quick. Nope, he is dumb. He is going to attack the bear. Um, <laughs> he is going. Oh. To, <laughs> he's going to. Uh, you know, he's he just got walloped by. Uh, um, Higgs, and then he looks at, he's like, he looks at the bear and be like, get out of here, you stupid bear. So he's going to clasp his hands <laughs> together and come down and a double hammer, oh, once down and a once back up for uh, two hits. Uh, whew, misses horribly. Uh, ooh, a 21 to hit the bear. Uh, and uh, the bear is going to take five points of bludgeoning damage. Oh no! <laughs> Not the bear. Man. Uh, and then he's just going to look at the, and he went so late. In the, actually, no, he didn't. Okay. Uh, oh, did I not readjust that? Fuck it. Oh well. Uh, I gotta adjust something real quick. Um, all right, okay. Um, that is his attack. All right, Lila, you are up. All right, I'm fighting. <laughs> mm-hmm. Girl, sixteen. Sixteen. 16 will hit. Yeah. All right. So that is... For seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. He is looking extremely rough. Like, you could probably breathe on him, and he would probably f- keel over. Uh-oh. Oh. 14 hit? Uh, 14 <laughs> just hits. And I don't think you can do a not enough damage not to kill him. So uh, as you um, swipe away and you bite him and you start mauling on him, you know, this uh, this vampire is, you know, he's he's a vampire at first. And then the second he hits the ground and all of his blood leaves him, he turns into the seemingly popular doppelganger that is a form you recognize. Um, but yeah. He is dead. And I'm going to move him out of the way just to clear up the room a little bit, but he's still technically there. Okay. Uh, that was your action. Any movement or bonus action? Um, that's it. That's it. All right. Next up is uh, the guy in the bathtub. Um, he's going to hear all this and... <sighs> Uh, yeah, he's going to plead for him, like, he's going to, he's going to start pulling off his costume. He's like, oh, no, uh, I'm just, I'm just a person. I'm sorry that I didn't, the, he, uh, he's the one to put us up to this. I, I, I don't, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. We're, I'm just an actor. Please, please, please have mercy on me. And he's, he's pulling off and he's kind of like, he's, he's got all of his makeup just smeared up. And then he's like, he's, you can see the tears <laughs> running down his face. Jeez, man. No! No! I'm just mad! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> um, 
Yeah, he's, uh, and that that is his turn. He's going to be begging for mercy. Uh, Sid, you are up. All right. I just continue concentration, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold action. I'm going to Eldritch Blast anyone that attacks any one of my friends. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. So, here's the thing. Uh, held action uses your concentration. Oh, okay, yeah. never mind. I'm just gonna <laughs> hold. I'm gonna hold the guy. Okay, fair that's enough. That's the main guy, right? Yeah, that's the guy that's fancier. Uh, he is the one that uh, is the quote unquote leader, I guess. But uh, yeah, right, he's I also just... the one that's uh, not moving mm -hmm. either. So, I yell at the bathtub guy to get out of here. Uh, get in the fighter. Get out of here. Be hands. If you if you let me, I will go. Uh, I'll get out of here. Um, all right, Higgs. Uh, well, uh, that's it from Sid. Higgs, you are up. All right, hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, everything's good. So, um, dang it, why not? All right, go ahead. Um, yeah, you see the guy crying in the bathtub. You see the guy to the west of you, uh, holding his ground. You see the other guy just stand, well, standing because he doesn't really have a choice. All right, well, the guy directly <laughs> to my north is under a whole person spell, correct? That is correct. All right, so he's gonna turn around and Uh, we're gonna throw a hex on him. Okay. Hex a Rooney. So now he's going to uh, <clears throat> take a swing with right. long sword. And he is paralyzed, so you I'm have. I'm going. Yeah. That's it doesn't break the spell point. either. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, hit him with booming blade. Okay. So, I got advantage. Yeah. All right, so 21 to hit. So, yeah, so these are yeah. auto crits. Yeah, so, these are auto crits, right? Yes, because he is paralyzed. He can't okay, defend himself. So, he also right, fails. So there's the weapon damage. There's the weapon damage. Uh, 14 plus 8 would be uh, 22 plus the uh, here's going to be the boom and blade damage 5 points Okay. Five and points. then the hex damage Six points of necrotic. Uh, and I don't, yeah, I don't think he's resistant to any of that. Um, yeah, he is looking, uh, he's looking pretty rough. He is, he's looking bloody. I mean, he can't really, uh, he's, uh, 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 <laughs> just kind of fumbled talking, I think is what it said with the description is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anything else from Higgs? That uh, was action, Higgs, bonus action. Yeah, he's gonna circle around to here, and I guess if he wants to take an opportunity attack, he can. This uh, guy. Yeah, he's going to because uh, why not? And it's a disadvantage because I have my heels click here. Then in that case, it is a miss. He, yeah, I mean, you get up and like before he even realizes, he just goes to blink, and then all of a sudden you're in the 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 next area, and then you see him whiff as it, you know, he hits where the table was. And I just yell at this quivering, quivering fucking not bag down here, like get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Get I'm trying to. I, I I can't go yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else? That's it. All right. Uh, next up is the leader. One these, I think. Uh, and he makes a wisdom save for that uh whole person, correct? 
Mm. Oh. Yep, 16. <laughs> oh. I can I can add them together and it still fails. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so you know you, you see him sh try to shimmy, 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 and then once again, like he kind of tires himself out and he kind of stops for a second, tries to. I don't want to. With that, Roxana, you are up. Okay. Um. The the guy in the bathtub has basically given up. He's just waiting to run away. Mm -hmm. And has the guy that we're holding person on, or the one in front of me, they haven't like given any indication that they're not like they're like giving up. Well, the the leader hasn't really had a chance to because he got hit with a whole person. So other right. than his uh, muttered, uh, <laughs> he's he's muttering something, but like he like pretty much all of his muscles and his whole body is pretty much shut down. I mean, he's just standing there. You see it ever so slightly shimmer, uh, shimmying type of thing, but yeah, he can't utter anything. The other guy is definitely not showing signs of uh, quit. Yeah, because yeah, because he tried to tag Higgs as he went by too, right? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I will um not swing my mace this time because bad mace. Mm -hmm. Um, I will cast uh till the dead on the one to the north right in front of me. Okay. Wisdom save. Uh, gotta be to fifteen. Ooh, double eighteen. It's not that he Ooh. rolls with advance, but yeah, that is an eighteen. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Man, there's a kind of whiffs all around. You can't hit him. No, you can't I mean, hit you. <laughs> I feel bad because like they were just playing cards and they're like not super cool. Like they're kind of just it's not like real like fun enemies. Like there's kind of like you know oh, like, more fake vampires. I was gonna make them drunk, but I didn't even need to. <laughs> <laughs> um, just like because uh, I don't have bonus action, I'll just be like, hey, dude. <laughs> Run away now or die, man. Come on. I know I'm missing, Ooh. but other people aren't. So pick your battles. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, with that, uh, he is actually up next. And he's like, no, I am a vampire, and I don't care what that guy says in the tub. He is, <laughs> he's a new recruit. <laughs> uh, and so he's got to try to swing on uh, Roxanne and try to get some damage out of this. Uh, 16, which I know that doesn't hit. Um, yeah, so he's going to say, uh, um, yeah, after his uh, pitiful display, yeah, he's going to, uh, uh, maybe on second thought, uh, let me, let me, let me me shimmy around fuck there's still a bear here <laughs> um i don't really worry about the wizard the or the, the the frail guy out there um um yeah he's going to try to run away i don't know if you want to swing on him again i'm gonna let him go uh that was what did i say 5 10 15 20 if the bear wants to swipe on him she can 25, 30. Hey, he's going to try to book out of there. Uh, if you want to swing on them, uh, he gets two opportunity attacks from Lolly and Sid if they want to. I don't have anything to attack with. Are you still claiming to be a vampire? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just getting recruits. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll let Twilight be. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Lolly, did you want to swing on them or? Nah, let him go. Okay. Uh, up next, he is dead. I can take him out of the lineup somehow. I thought I remembered how to do that. Uh, uh. Uh, right. Uh, Lala, you are up. Even though I clicked off of you, you are still up. Hit the button. Uh, you are left. It's the so you got person. the guy that just ran away from you. He's going to the south. The guy, the leader guy that is held by a hold person, you got the guy crying in the bathtub. <laughs> and it did. Look at the guy in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> pee on him. Yeah. You got to do what? You got to pee on him. No. Just gonna breathe on him. <laughs> um, okay. You got blood all over my mouth. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, I mean, if you want to, he's already, uh, like I said, he's, he you cannot stop his tears. Even, uh, if you swipe away his, his tear ducts, he is, uh, I mean, he's in a bathtub, so it's a good spot. So anything that leaks out, I mean, would stay in the bathtub, but I mean, it soak up the sleeping bag, but, uh, yeah, if you want to get closer to him and, uh, give him extra intimidation, but yeah, he is. Uh, if that's what your turn is, that's what you're going to do. Uh, anything else? Movement, uh, intimidation, sort of. Just throw out <laughs> intimidation anyway. Just see. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, three. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's purring. <laughs> Did you say a 30? <laughs> a <Or> three. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I just sit down. <laughs> i mean he's still got like uh so all right so it is his turn yeah even he, with that um you know come up came more like the coke bear right we're like almost like a peace yeah. offering but it's like ah! so yeah he is he is gets out of the top he's gonna get up he's gonna use 15 feet uh he's gonna get up he's gonna use five uh the uh, uh, 20, uh, 5, 30, and then he's going to run if you're going to let him, so. Uh, uh, 10, there's an extra 10, and uh, he is meets up with his other friend and be like, ah, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. Uh, and that is his turn. Uh, Sid, you are up. I'm I'm just maintaining concentration. No one's no one's threatening us, right? Uh, nope. You got a held person, a dead doppelganger, and two people running away. I'm gonna search the dead doppelganger. <laughs> right. for identification. Um. So the doppelganger is he is looks like the T1000, right? So he has no he has nothing on him. He is just a silver form. Um. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you can try to enter him if you want, but yeah, they, he has no, uh, yeah, he has no material possessions on him. No pouches, no, no, uh, nothing. He's just a, a shaped form of, uh, silverness, basically. No ID, no, no, nothing. You know, once he died, he reverted back and, uh, anything that he was wearing got changed into uh, a nude silver man, basically. <laughs> it's a Ken doll that's been painted silver. <laughs> uh, all right, with that, uh, Higgs, you are up. Um, well, uh, circled here, and then uh, you got to take another boom and blade swipe here. All right. You, you cannot stop yourself. <laughs> all right. Sixteen hits. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does, but yes, sixteen will hit. Uh, so here comes the pain here. <laughs> um. Oh, nice a max damage. So eight, eight plus eight plus seven. So sixteen plus seven is um twenty three. Twenty three. Still up, but looking really rough. Here's the necrotic damage. Nine points of necrotic. And how does that look? Because right. he had exactly nine points of health left. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> there was thunder damage coming too, but yeah. yeah. But, um, no, nothing. He just kind of like kind of tenses up and just, since he's just been, then he just has a stroke, I guess. And fucking and necrotic damage eats his brain. Uh, perfect. Yeah, you got to swing on him. You know, he he was uh, defenseless this whole time. Um, yeah, you just kind of wail on him. He gets, uh, you know, someone to Pacificus Totalis. Yeah, that sounds about right. You know, he's just ah, uh, he's just frozen. He can't move, and you're just swinging on a defenseless uh, uh, a body. But uh, yeah, and then once uh, you do the final blow, he's actually. He's still stiff, so he's still standing there, but you can see that any life has has left his body. Uh, but yeah, because he's still held by held person, he, he is still uh, standing up, but you can tell he is definitely uh, 
without life. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, hold him right there and I like, go through his pockets and shit, man. Uh, all right. If you want to go through his pockets, uh, let's see. Had anything special? Um, he has nine gold on him. Um, but since you're right there, so you can see that in that bathtub that the guy was, uh, just, just ran from, um, you see, uh, uh, uh you see another sack in there and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll count that as part of your, uh, uh, um, searching. So in right on top, um, you see another little sack and that has 220 copper in it. Uh, 90, 91 silver, uh, and 85, 85 gold in it, as well as a silver ring that has engraved with a dwarven symbol commonly associated with futility and sexual, uh, potency, uh, worth about 25 GP. Okay. Uh, you said how much silver pieces? Uh, 91 silver. Right. 85 gold and 220 copper plus the nine gold that was on him uh you also uh are you letting uh, are you letting these guys run away i am i mean i i was uh... okay so all right i'm just gonna end combat so uh clear all turns yes um so in that let me have them run away. Um, uh, so in the in that bathtub, uh, you see. Uh, let's see. Um, you see a fresco. So the fresco um, takes up the entire north wall. Um, uh, it is a it's a large stone fresco depicting a rugged mountain hollowed out with caverns containing tiny sculptures uh, sculpted figures of dwarfs uh behind uh did, throw, out a, uh, throw out a perception too real quick how much did you say that ring was worth uh 25 And under that, uh, the fresco is, like I said, a tub, and it's got a uh, uh, carved. It's carved into the fo floor with a Did large. Did you want to roll for me? Uh, yeah, roll a uh, pr uh, a perception check, please. Right. Uh, it's carved into the floor. It's got recessed uh, stone. T it's a stone tub that's about eight feet long, four feet wide, and about two feet deep. Uh, oh. Twenty-one. Uh, yeah, you see. These little carvings of uh, these dwarfs, and uh, um, as you're as you're handling it, um, you you notice that one of the uh, the dwarven statues, um, like it's kind of loose, right? As you jiggle it around, this um, this little like key, uh, it looks like a key uh, comes out of the head. You know, uh, it's. Uh, uh, da, 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 where is where is that? No, it's in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, one of the tiny dwarfs uh, figures uh, is the head of it is a uh, the stone is uh, makes a stone key and it's slotted into the uh, into the cavity of your figurine. Um, what the key is for, you don't know because it's uh. You know, there's nothing with locks in this room. You know, so far has been doors and stuff. But yeah, like I said, the the, the dwarven statue had a little head to it, and you jiggle it, and it, you can see that is a uh, a stone key type of thing. Um, yeah, I pick it up with my mage hand and kind of examine it like that. And well, if anybody wants to look at it, I drop it into my backpack. I guess. Now we both have keys. I'm sure they'll both be important later. Yes, um, I'm sure these sure. are the <laughs> utmost importance. So, uh, if I put that in my inventory, what's what was it again? Uh, it, uh, uh, da -da. it's a stone. It's a stone slotted key. Um, stone slotted. Key. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm just saying, we found two keys that can't be a coincidence. Two? Just saying, they could come in handy later. Absolutely. <laughs> um, <All right. laughs> one of them for sure. I mean, uh, yeah. Um, but so yeah, we uh, once again, you you see these uh, these these faux vampires trying to. Uh, well, these ones weren't trying to hustle you, but uh, uh, let's see. yeah, that was the that was that. But yeah, uh, it's more doppelgangers that are uh, you know pursuing the the. Pers- perception of uh vampires you had two humans that were dressed up with makeup and one was in a sadder situation than the other um but yeah um you had a bandit guy but you know he didn't he didn't get a chance to defend himself say anything mostly um but yeah we are out of combat and uh it is up to you you're free to uh to move about the castle some more or the dungeon. So he keeps trying to move this way and just like, what the up with all the double gangers pretending to be vampires down here? That just kind of seems kind of weird. I don't know. It does seem weird. It seems like an odd thing, right? Like, <laughs> like why, like, why vampires specifically? Like, I mean, have like, like, I don't know. Like, why not just be doppelgangers? They're pretty yeah. scary. Oh well. I don't know. Head back out this way. Yeah, everybody's got their thing, I guess. Back to the killing. <laughs> the, is there, any, there any, no doors in here to leave from? Uh no. So the the room where the the gambling was taking place, there was you know wooden tables. There's a bathtub. There's that fresco. Um, there's only doors to the south. Um. There doesn't seem to be any doors that are in that room. Why they would get into a room that only had one exit is not is beyond me, but that's how it is. So, but yeah, there's only doors at which you already came through. And Higgs, where you're at right now, you see um, that door is open to your southwest. Um, in from even from where you're standing. It looks like it's an area that they would use for um, sleeping. So you see a uh, bed rolls spread out uh, randomly throughout the the area. Um, and this looks like one of the areas that where you know they would sleep. I mean, uh, you see uh, two battered and rusty old uh, oil lanterns on the floor. But yeah, this this looks like a uh, a place for these. Uh, Vampires to to sleep. Hmm. Okay. And going over there, you see another door to your north. Um, opening it up goes down to another hallway. More lights. Um, and you know, there's definitely some foot traffic where you're at. You know, some people are sleeping, but uh. From where you're at, it doesn't look like uh, that room is, uh, that area is used a lot. You see it goes one, 30 feet to the north, and it goes, uh, there's another, looks like a hallway that goes to the west. Um, There's very light traffic. You see a couple of uh, uh, torches on the wall, but uh, Mm. there doesn't appear to be a lot of foot traffic um, or any signs of it. Right this way. <laughs> yeah. Keeping up. With Keeping up. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you go through there, and it is just hallway. There is nothing there. I'll save you the the effort. Right there. Well, <laughs> All right. Um. But yeah, just just a hallway. I mean, it doesn't. There's some more sleeping bags in there but you know there's uh most of it was in that first room and there's there's a couple oh, kind of, ends right here That's what we're... yeah it goes up to the north but yeah there is uh for some reason they put torches there uh but yeah there's it doesn't seem like it gets used maybe that's the fancy sleeping quarters uh or the punishment quarters but that's what the unspeakable <laughs> thing like Weird. nothing to see here, nothing to see. 
another <laughs> Nimrath situation going on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is that area. Um, it doesn't. Uh, I mean, other than the the fleeting footsteps of uh, those those vampires that you know you handily took care of. Um, it doesn't appear to be uh, anything around. Where? Mm. That's good. Well, Where to next? There we go. Probably on the map. Well, okay. the old makeshift map here. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, let's, well, I'm, well, I'd say that we go back into this room here with the statues and mm -hmm. go north from there. Yeah, the statue room, like I said, just those uh, uh, stone statues facing the east. Uh, you see that dead hobgoblin is still there. Um, you know the path that you've come. You know, those, those doors are pretty much open. And why did that shine weirdly? Um, I'm pulling that up here. All right, as you go up there... Uh, you see more uh, hallway to the north um, from where you're at. Um, you see about uh, 60 feet uh, to the north. You kind of see that it looks like it's going to curve a little bit to the left. Um, you see some, you know, some medium to moderate uh, uh, foot traffic. Um, yeah, you see another hallway goes more to the north. Uh, there's appear to be a lot of uh, lighting in this area, but they are. Uh, it is more hallways. Um, Excuse me. Oh, my map is. I mean, I kind of wait at this point to see what everybody else does. I guess. <sighs> My map just went black, so you know, um, <laughs> it just got really dark in here all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because there's no torches in that area. <laughs> um, can I can I assume that everyone is following Higgs right behind Higgs? Yeah, yeah, yeah we are. Making, making way that way. Uh, and where did you actually go? Oh, there you are. Oh, I thought we were heading back. <laughs> I was heading back to where we came. Was Maybe that that's wrong? why you can't find. It. <laughs> could have also been that yeah uh so yeah we are here <laughs> uh yeah hallway to the north there's a hallway to the west uh let's see what do you see here um yeah higgs would see that that hallway goes to the west and then it looks like it's gonna go to the north some but from where you're at that's about the extent of your vision and like i said uh, there's here does it look like it looks like the tunnel ends here right uh yeah, I mean you have another f well, five feet, and it looks like it uh, dead ends there. Um, mm. No need to check around for anything. That's up to you if you want to check around. I can't tell you what to what to look for and what well, not to look for. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna check out the wall and see for any. Uh, throw out a here. perception or investigation check, depending. Uh, on guide, I will help you look. Oh, that was terrible. That was really, really bad. <laughs> um, um, four on top of it. And that was a one out of ten. I mean, you know there's a lot of hidden doors in here. <laughs> you probably um, assume there's one around, but... I mean, Shiro is the one that was finding him, and he kind of hauled ass, so... Yeah, yeah, he had an issue. Let me try to take a look, Higgs. Okay. Oh, no, no doors here for sure. Definitely <laughs> all clear. Just, just a dead end, and there's another door to the west. That's 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 what you guys see. I mean, there's absolutely no hidden doors anywhere close to mm. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, where from where you're at. Um... <laughs> 
yeah, from Higgs where you're at, you see that it goes to the north, and then it, it looks like it's going to S around and go a little bit more to the west at the end of a uh, 15-foot hallway. Um, mm -hmm. And right where you're at, you know, the ceiling is about 10 feet tall from floor to ceiling. Um, yeah, you see more. Uh, it goes to the north. Uh, it goes to the west. Uh and yeah, you would you would see that there is definitely uh, more of those torches um, s to the west. Uh, it doesn't look like it's directly in the hallway you're in, but from where you're at, where you when you walk there, I'll get mm -hmm. where it's at. Yeah, you see uh, a couple of torches. You see a throne on a uh, on a platform. Looks like uh, there and there are. Let's see. Uh, 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 where are you at? Eight. Um, you see, um, a large back, uh, throne, um, uh, made of bleached bones. I mean, even from there, you can see that there's, you know, all kind of bones in a, in a form of a throne and, uh, Ooh. each, uh, well, at least the right one from where you're at, you can't really see the left, but you can see there's an armrest that has, uh, snakes carved into it. Or a snake. Well, that doesn't have snakes. Um, is the rest of the party coming up as well? Yeah. Oh, Please. What is this? Uh, throne room. Snake. <laughs> okay. I've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> Go back now. <laughs> Turn back on, uh, Made back plenty of money. I want to go out. Uh, fake vampires I'm fine with. Snakes, nah. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I move up. Okay. I'll move inside. All right. So as you walk in, despite what it looks like, Holy um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's not an actual. That is the bones of a uh, wyvern. Um, yeah. So you see in the middle of the room. <laughs> so you're standing on this this uh, dais that is uh, approximately. Uh, I just saw, where did it go? Uh, it is, uh, you know, it is eight feet off the ground, but like looking down there, you see this, uh, the, the, uh, it, bones, uh, bone skull, uh, rotted, le rotted away leather looking, uh, wing flaps, a stinger of a wyvern entangled with shards of clear, uh, crystal. Like. You got to come see this. There's a literal dragon in this dungeon. <laughs> uh, you also see another door to the west. Uh, uh, Higgs, where you're at, you also see two doors, one to the north, one to the northwest. Uh, you do see... Throw out a perception check. Actually, yeah, throw out a perception check if you would like. Uh, Roxanne, you can you can throw one out as well. I'm assuming you're right behind them as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm my yeah my uh, math is still uh rolling uh rolling natural ones. <laughs> um, fourteen. Uh, Roxanne, did you want to throw out a perception check as well? I I, I super duper do. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just, uh, there we go. Let's see here. Uh, guidance for me, because maybe it will help my computer also. There it comes. Oof. Seventeen plus. 19. 19. Okay, yeah. With, with a 19, yeah, absolutely. You see, like, Higgs sees some, uh, some, uh, uh, some footprints, right? And, you know, he's, you know, he, they look, uh, you know, footprints are coming through here. Uh, Roxanne definitely noticed that they look very recent, like, within the last few minutes. They, they're almost like, I don't want to say I don't want to say like almost like settling right so they 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 almost have like a little bit of uh there's random dust and stuff around in, in in here so you still see some of that kind of drifting like someone just came through 
Okay. Uh, um, somebody's just been here, like, like real, real recently. Um, we for people that we let go, but doesn't look great. What'd you say, Higgs? Sorry. I just said that while that was going on, I cast light on my shield, and I'm just kind of like shining it around, trying to see if uh, I see right. anything. We can light you up some more. Not that it truly matters, but uh, yeah. it's 30 30 or 20 20? 20 20, I believe. 20 20. Uh, yeah, so Roxanne would definitely see it. Like, they're, they've pretty much came the way you did, and they went to the Northwest. Um, almost like they're in a, in a panic. You know what? With, with, with the 19, you might see what looks like, uh, you know, teardrops and running makeup. <laughs> oh, the let go from probably came this way. I'm gonna feel real bad if we run into him again. He was real sad. Not me. I'm trying to find these footprints. I'm trying to follow them. See where they're going. I know you are. I just thought I'd tell you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Although I think, I think he would start to pursue him and then actually look around the room, feeling that there's no rush, not to miss anything in here. Uh, if I mean you would have saw it in passing, but uh, yeah, that that throw that bone thrown. Uh, and I'm going to move Sid and Lolly just because uh, to try to keep them with Thank the party. <laughs> Welcome to the Bone Throne. <laughs> yeah. So uh, on this uh, Bone Throne, um, yeah, like I said, on each of the armrests, you see two um, carved in uh, snakes. Snakes. Um, you see, uh, yeah, we got high enough passive perception. It looks like the, the seat cushion looks like it's almost like the lid to a, a compartment. Um it's got a high back on it. Uh, there's, uh, there are two torches on either side, like lighting it up, trying to uh, present whoever would be sitting here. Um, you see, like I said, you see the the door to the west. You see relatively fresh uh, footprints uh, to the north northwest. There's another door to the north. Uh, you see a wyvern skeleton. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that is of any of importance in here? Uh, uh, what yeah. Do you go to hand to try to lift up whatever the seat cushion looks like it might. Okay. Um. All right. I will. All right. So even though you use your mage hand, I still need you to. Ooh, ooh, nope. That's <laughs> that is on my end. Is it a deck saving throw? Is that one? Um, really? Oh, really well. Um, all right, so, yes. Uh, so, as even though you're using your mage hand, uh, both of those uh, snakes come to, come to life. They start to animate, and one of them strikes you and hits you for uh five points of piercing damage and i need you to make a con save please all right i figure out why i have temporary hit points if i should still have those or not uh do you remember where you got them from or i don't uh, well i'll 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 take a back step It, it was a 25 to hit i don't know if you wanted to do anything else before Oh no! I'll take the damage. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out if I should take it off this temporary shit. Uh, okay. yeah. Well, oh no, no, I don't. No, I don't have temporary hit points. That's um, never mind. You said five points. Uh, five points. I need to make a con save, please. Okay. Not good. Eleven. Uh, all right. So as as he. Sn- snakes uh bite into your veins um yeah the, you you feel the initial piercing of uh the fangs and then you also take ooh, 
29 points of poison damage. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. But after they both uh, strike at you, um, first of all, uh, even though you didn't get far, you looked in there and you're, you're, you're uh, a beacon of light, a uh, beacon of light, and uh, you see that there was nothing in there as they were coming to uh, uh, bite, bite, and one of them does uh, find you. And uh, like I said, it does that damage. And once they attack, they come back to their rested stone state and sitting on their armrest. Mm, okay. <laughs> it looked like that hurt I'm Hicks. Take a seat. Yeah. I'm going to take a seat there. Right. I'm going to go over here and open up this door. Uh, so as you open that door. Um, um. As as Higgs goes past, can I just lay on hands and give him five hit points and neutralize any poison? Uh, he took poison damage. He wasn't poisoned. He wasn't uh, poisoned. Uh, but you absolutely can give him five points of healing if you would like. Uh, yeah, we'll do it that way. Yeah, that, I always hated that. There's poison and poison damage, but yeah, just because you take poison damage doesn't mean you're yeah. poisoned. So sorry, I misheard. Yep, there you go. Oh, you're good. Uh, so uh, Higgs, as you open this door, you hear kind of uh, a faint fumbling of a mm, uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, you see a hallway that goes to the west and that leads up to the north. Um, mm, all right. I just tell them to turn to the group and tell them be prepared. Always there. There's something going on up here. Uh, 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 it's just kind of just shuffling back and forth. Heavy footsteps. Always prepared. All right. Let's move forward. Clear it out front. Let's see. What is there? Uh, 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 uh. And before you move, let me, I got to bring that up. That is on a different sheet. Uh, ooh. Uh, Higgs, can you roll a stealth check real quick? Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, I can't use that. <laughs> His rolls have been terrible, man. Yeah. And so you're you're walking up and you're you got you know uh noisy armor and uh yeah you you hear this footsteps coming closer uh, 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 as all of a sudden you see this this monstrosity made of uh like patched work of uh skin like all, all like someone made a skin suit basically as uh yeah uh, a flesh golem comes around the corner Bruce. <laughs> um and on that note let's take our five minute break <laughs> all right all right when we come awake <laughs>
uh, let me hit on hit play again uh higgs as you come around the corner uh you hear these footsteps getting louder and louder as this flesh golem comes around the corner and from uh around the other side which you cannot see you hear a feminine voice saying tarl is that you i told you to stay away from my quarters this is mine and all you from the this flesh golem just what do you no, do? It's <laughs> uh, no, it's not. And I go into attack. Okay. <laughs> not a problem. So go ahead and roll initiative. All right. Come on. See if we can roll better to right now. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Slightly better. Huh? 18. And uh, is would uh, the bear be fought right behind Roxanne, or are they still at the dais or at the throne? No, I'd be following. Yeah, we're with the group, guys. Uh, we just can't move our pieces. Okay. Uh, I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, so, do you want to be last, or do you want to be have, have the bear grass? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not last. Who, Molly, how Molly last? Be the bear. Okay. Yeah, I'm going uh, All right, it's going to be a tight. Uh, put it like that. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, Sid and Lolly, I need you to roll initiatives, please. What'd you get? I got 18. She got 18. I got a five. 18 and think, wait. five. Let me make sure. Yeah, I got a five. And that's what it got you when I put you in randomly. Okay, so uh, reorder, and I gotta bring up his that blank. All right, uh, Higgs, you are up first with this uh, abomination mm -hmm. of. Uh, let's see if I can. Can I bring this up? Uh, I know I can somehow. <laughs> I know there is a show to players. <laughs> it's being funky today but uh let's see can where is uh i want to show how do i show um oh. but yeah it like i said looks like uh a whole bunch of different skin parts and uh, just kind of like suck uh sewn together and the thing is pretty tall it's you know like uh, just shy of seven feet tall uh, and it's coming around and bleep, bleep. Um, I'm going to transfer my hex because that would still be up. Okay. Um, and then uh, I'm going to uh, take a regular that's an attack. Regular attack, regular attack, regular attack. Yeah, that's right. And stuff. Okay, 27 to hit. 27 definitely yeah. hits. Uh, I'm going to do this. Uh, 15 points. Give me one second. I got to read the wording on this. Okay. There's more damage coming. All right, so all right, so that's just your sword, correct? Uh, fifteen that's points. Just the, uh, yeah, that's just the actual damage from the sword. All right, so yeah, this is the part I'm confused about. All right, I'll read it to you. I'm not going to try to hide it from you. Damage. <laughs> Immunity. It's got some, but bludging, piercing, and slashing made from non or from non magical attacks, not mm -hmm. made with adamantium. So there, I know, I know yours is your yours is an, yours is it's not so not mm. right. Okay. So it takes no slashing down. So yeah, you hit, you find, you find purchase, you get, you you bring out your golden sword, you hit them with it, and it it makes contact. But all the only thing you see is just a as it's going through. But as, as quickly as it cut through its uh, skin suit, you know, it seems like it 
did almost like no damage to it. There was like, didn't seem like it hurt it at all. Yeah, it takes the necrotic damage though. Uh, okay, go for it. From the hex. Um, mm -hmm. Four points. Four points. Yeah. No, you know, as you know, your blade goes through, and then there's a there's a second of you know you're getting slashed with the uh, the sword, and it's just like no, and then uh, off then a split second later, the the little bit of a tinge from your necrotic hinge or your hex comes through, and no, <laughs> is that it from Higgs? Uh, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, Roxana, you are up with Lolly on deck. Okay. Um, it worked so well last time, so I am going to hit this thing with my light bringer. Uh, I'm gonna go up. Um, I might as well just, I mean, I know enough to maybe get flanking. Sure. I think I have enough. Yeah, you have plenty. Yeah, I have plenty. Cool. That's a advantage, correct? That would be advantage. And then from there, you can see that there is a woman in bed, kind of like, uh, actually, no, she's in her, like a rocking chair, looking at you and be like, you're, you're not Tarl. Oh, God, no! <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> 24, Timmy. Uh, he never got a chance to tell you who he was. Uh, 24 hits, yes. <laughs> All right, and then um, I deal an extra 1d6 radiant damage to undead. Does this thing count as... Is this thing undead? Up. Oh. It is, um, it is not construct. undead. Yeah, it's a construct. Oh, okay. cool. So... All right. Six points uh, of damage. All right, so that is all right. So, uh, mm -hmm. you saw you saw Higgs swing with his sword, and it made contact. Mm -hmm. And same thing, uh, you made contact with your. It is a magical sword, but or mm -hmm. weapon, but same thing. You hear it's more of a what, you know, like a dull thud as it may hits him, and you clearly hit him, but he shows zero signs of um, being hurt. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm used to Higgs hitting and I was moving, so. <laughs> yeah, you were kind of really swinging on the way. I mean, he he had his back to you and he's, moo? And then, yeah. I'm trying uh, to be as cool as them and throw my, and swing my mace. And at least I almost hit something this time. Uh, That is it for me. All right. That brings up Lolly Bear. And I get by Higgs up there to bite him? I would say... Mm, drive by. Tight, uh, let's see. I would say you would be able to swipe with your claw. I think you're going to be a little bit too far away to get him with your bite. Okay, I try with the claw. <laughs> claw. <laughs> yeah, Magical <'cause>... claw. <laughs> Or 21. I mean, 21 hits, yes. Um, but similar to the other attacks, you know, you're, you're hitting him, and you'll feel, you're feeling the, uh, the thud of, you know, the force being put on it, but it is it's not showing any signs of being hurt. Uh, anything else from Lolly? That will be at the moment. Okay. Up next is this monstrosity. Uh, yeah. Tactical weapons should hurt it. It's they're not made with animantine. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what you said was from slashing non-magical weapons. A non-magical weapon can be made of animantine yeah. and not be magical. So that's what that's yeah. saying. Magical weapons hit. It's the word. The word you're looking at is non-magical. So it can be silver and not magical. It can be adamantine and non-magical. So okay. it's saying if you have a non-magical weapon, it has to be adamantine. Otherwise, magical weapons will hit. Okay. So 
Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay, so I need to take back some, add some of that. Uh, yeah. So yeah. It's whatever the other rock fan of damage was. But... Right. So okay. And Lolly. Yeah. Okay. So oh. yeah, because that's right. Her, she's level six now, so it does count as uh, um, magical. yeah, magical. Yeah. Oh, I don't think that happens at that at when they yeah. level that. Point. Uh, it was twelve points. Twelve points. Okay. Yeah, like I said, the wording on that is super funky. Uh, yeah, so so that's saying if if it's made of and and man time doesn't make it magical, but that would it doesn't have to be magical. But okay. Anything. Yeah, like I said, it's I read that funny, so I I yeah, I, yeah. but yeah, you're right. Um, so Sid, now your Sid is up next. Uh, so this monstrosity comes and you know, just curious about what's going on, and then. You know, it sees two uh, 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 beings try to attack it. You got a bear trying to swipe at it. And it's just going to go, and it's going to punch. It's going to make it like a T. And it's going to swing for Roxanne and Higgs, one attack of each. Uh, uh, the first one was to Roxanne. It's a 26. Hits. Uh, for 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, the second one is going toward Higgs, and that is ooh, 26. Mm. Um, Still up? Well, it depends on the, what the damage is. Uh, <laughs> and it's 11 points of damage. I didn't know if you were going to... Yeah, well, I thought about it, but it's not really going to help. I mean, well, I'm out of actually first level slots. So. <clears throat> I could have used the second level, but I won't. So you said how much what's the damage on it? Uh, 11 points of bludgeoning. All right. Uh, uh, and then, uh, yeah, that is his turn. Sid, you're up with the end of the round coming up. Left twice. <laughs> All right. Let's see if he's hurt by force damage. Fourteen. 14 hits. All right. Let me see if the second one hits. Oh, yep. That one hits. 26. Okay. Let's Absolutely. see. This is plus three. Okay. For my uh, respite. Five. It's 10 plus the second one. Oh, come on. 22, 23, 24, 25 points of damage. Points Should of I damage. push him? Nice. Is that I'm gonna push him in case Higgs in case Higgs wants to run. I'm gonna push him five feet. So is that in what? any direction or is that in a straight line? Straight line away from me. What's going on? So yeah. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. If it's for... Well, no, if it's for your, is that for your, um... I, I would say if you're one square over to the right, uh, which I would absolutely, you could push him into this corner over here diagonally. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, so right, if you're here, actually, yeah, we'll say here, and then you could push him five feet this way. Uh, anything else from Sid? Uh, it's gonna be it for me. I need to weaponize my bonus action. Thing. Um, at the end of the round, this woman that is sitting in the corner, um, she says, "Who are you?" Uh, actually, she sees Roxanne, and she sees her 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 flesh golem uh uh be pushed back. You are not Charles' people. Get out! Get out of here! <laughs> Leave now. This is not this is not your place. This is my place. I don't know why everyone's so possessive possessive in here. Um <laughs> and with that I will need to put her in five one. Plus three. 
All right. Uh, back at the top of the order. Higgs, you are up. Mm. All right. Um, <clears throat> guess I'm going to take one step this way and then fire an Eldridge Blast. Eldridge Blast, go for it. Twenty three. Twenty three hits. I'll take two points and then six points in the no, eight points. Two four six in the chronic. Eight points. Um at that point it starts to look uh I mean it's it's a construct, but it looks bloody, you know, it's definitely starting to show wear and tear. Um, I think he's gonna uh, use the rest of his move to get to Caesar. Okay. Uh that brings us up to Roxana. You are up. Uh with this golem got pushed that was right in front of you and it got pushed uh just to your left. Or just to the west. All right. I'm going to be like, God, I still don't understand this mace. And I'm gonna reach out and I'm going to cast inflict wounds. On him. Uh, 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 let's see. Uh, okay. Um, that is an attack roll, correct? Correct. Coming your way. Right. Oh God, I rolled so bad. Eleven. Uh, Oddly enough, this is a big hunkering mass of uh, mm -hmm. meat. So even uh, eleven will, will hit. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah. All right. So bad tonight. Seventeen points of necrotic damage. Ooh, Seventeen. Uh, mm -hmm. does definitely does not like that. Uh, let's make sure. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, he definitely takes all of that, and it just. Mm -hmm. Uh. Any th any bonus action or movement? Um. Yeah. Can I just like shimmy and shake myself around to this side of him to like try and get a little closer to this woman? You sure can, and she's gonna be, she's gonna be like, I said, leave, not get out of here. I don't want Tarl or you. I don't know who that is. You have a creepy flesh golem lady. Like, I'm gonna need some more explanation than that. Or we're gonna kill this thing. And and props to you at this point. I'm not gonna lie. It's just how we roll. <laughs> all right, perfect. Um, that was movement. Uh, all right, Lolly Bear, you are up. Stepping up and taking a bite and a claw. Yep, you have plenty of room now. Uh, 18. 18 hits. Okay, that is four. Uh, uh, 14 points of damage. 14 points. Ooh. It is looking real rough. But it is still standing. Seven. <laughs> you said seven? And 11. 11 does hit. <laughs> Okay, for uh, 18. Ooh, 18. Ooh. With that, how does that look as you uh, bite and claw at this uh, hunk of uh, meat? It seems like all the seams pop open and just pieces just fall. Ooh. Ooh. Um, with that, you hear oh. this, uh, well, just the general thud of the, the flesh golem fall down to the ground. It kind of, like, uh, just, just loses all of its uh, function and just... Blah, and just kind of slumps down to the ground and you'll hear this uh woman in the corner just scream no that was me um yeah that's what happened oh uh anything uh, that was movement uh action any bonus action i just give her a big bloody bear grin <laughs> uh perfect uh with that she is up. Um, she's going to stand up and really should have looked at this better. Um, yeah, I, uh, ooh. 
Who? Uh, uh, yeah, I really should have looked at this uh, stat block better before I uh, <laughs> brought this up. Um, all right, so she's gonna. She's obviously she's got a. Uh, she's. Uh, that was mine. How dare you attack him? Um, and then yeah, she is. Ooh, she's gonna get up. She's fifteen feet. She has. Let's see. Does she have enough? Yeah, she's gonna get to here, and then in a fit of rage, she's going to just uh, you know, claw at uh, uh at um Roxanne, and she's right there. Sure. Uh, that is uh eighteen. I don't think that miss. hits. Uh, so then she is going to uh swipe with you and miss. You know, you're kind of shiny, and she wasn't used to it. She just got up, kind of sure. little stiff bones. And now she's gonna come in for uh, she's gonna come in closer and then just try to to bite you. Uh for twenty-five. Sure. Alright, so that will do uh four points of piercing and nine points of necrotic. Uh, um, I am Resistant to necrotic. Ooh, perfect. So that is four and four. So eight points total. Gotcha. Uh, and with that, uh, all right. Uh, that is her turn. Um, Sid, you are up with Higgs on deck. Her Guys, I think this back. one's real. I think this one's real. <laughs> It's going to get real hurt in just a second. Eldrick's Blast. <laughs> okay, go for it. Uh, 15. 15 just hits. Oh. 10 misses, probably. Okay, I'm going to add 3 to this. Team points of damage, and I'm gonna go ahead and push her in case she wants to disengage. Okay. Uh, is that ten feet or five? Ten. Ten. Okay. You hit her with that first Eldritch blast, and she gets propelled backwards as she's biting and clawing that uh, Roxana. And uh, yeah, she definitely doesn't like it, but she's still actively trying to claw and bite as this first one comes and pushes her back ten feet. And uh, the second one is just off uh, off range. Uh, actually, you would have to be uh, just. Yeah, I would have moved up. Yeah, you would. You would from there. You would have been able to uh, hit her. So it would probably be closer to uh, here. Um, is that it? For now. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right, Higgs, you are up. Over here. All right, I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to Misty Step for here. Fine. Okay. That's because I didn't have, yeah, because I, well, you know what? I technically never turned off my fucking boots, so. Mm -hmm. Right. So you yeah, have. I still have. Uh, 60 plus feet. 15, 20. Oh, yeah. So I got room. So, yeah, I'll just get to her right here. And then, um,. <clears throat> Uh, and then I'll transfer my hex to her. Okay. And then, um, Booming Blade, I suppose, here. All right. Booming Blade, go for it. That has some shitty rolls. 15. Just hits. All right. Sweet. Nice. So, this. 
14 plus uh, D8, thunder. So five, so 19, and then a six for hex. Plus one more. Plus one more. That so, is... Yeah. 20 points she is Total. taking that and not liking it uh actually you know what um fuck, i forgot um your sword is not magical oh no it's not okay. so it would get seven points back oh okay so yeah as you hit it with a sword um yeah it definitely makes purchase and then you know you've seen what your your blade should do and it's almost like it's uh on her it seems like it's a little duller I mean, she still draws blood and stuff, but definitely not as much as you would uh, think that she should. Okay. Um, it's that. Um, Roxanne, you're up. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I could hit her with this, but that's worked these not well. Um, I'm going to cast I'm going to cast guiding bolts at her. Go for it. There we go. Oh man. Okay, good. It rolled at the last second. 18 to hit. 18 hits. Alrighty. Damage coming. Maybe. There we go. Oh. Thirteen, 13 points. points of radiant damage, and the next attack roll against the target before the end of my next turn has an advantage. All right. And then I'm going to take. I'm going to take five, 10, fifteen point or fifteen feet here, and and. And get close to her this way as well. All right. That is a turn. Um, Lolly, you are up. I can take Seven him out of and... Stepping up and biting and swinging. All right. With it, with advantage hmm. on the first one. Okay. Can we get that anyway from the... Yeah. <laughs> 13 yeah. is a better one. Uh, 13, so, uh, so 13, you gotta, uh, swipe, you swipe with your claw, right? Which one? Yeah, so you gotta, and to swipe them, and, you know, it's surrounded, and, you know, it's kind of a little bit tighter quarters than you would like, but, yeah, you swing, and that first one is just, an, is, is, uh, doesn't find where it should, it, it just swipes past her, just, whoo. Did you want to try to bite? Yeah, I rolled a 16. Uh, 16 hits, yes. Four. 13 points. 13 points. Not on the bear, but on her. All right, she is, is you know, starting to get bloody. And she's kind of screaming. That was mine. That was mine. You had mentioned that. <laughs> you, you think they had better dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Anything else? And that's it for me. All oh, right. Uh, all right. So that brings her up and things happen. Uh, she's looking a little less bloody. Um, let's see. What can she do? A little uh, less bloody, or a little more bloody. No, less. Like oh, really? some some of those um, scrapes and uh, cuts and swords and stuff like that. Oh, all those some oh, of those yeah. wounds start to heal a little bit. Oh, you know. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, she. It's Ooh. fucking troll. <laughs> um. Hag. Hag. <laughs> uh, what does she want to do? Uh. 
Yeah, so... Uh, 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 I bring this up. Uh, oh, fuck. She is too close for that. Uh, all right, so she is going to... Uh, yeah, she is... Ooh. She's going to take some... Uh, possible opportunity attacks and then kind of skirt out of the way actually she, yeah she's gonna go here uh so she would take it from the bear if the bear wants to uh fuck no matter what i do uh and she's sitting there with the boom blade on her too yeah um yeah she still wants to try to she's already rolled the damage which i realized that's what I, all those dice are coming out Okay, uh, yeah, um, so yeah, she moved, uh, and if Lolly wants to swing her, she can. Yeah. Uh, let's see, 18? Uh, 18 will hit, yes. Okay, four, da, 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 da. 17 points. 17 points. And was the, uh, Booming Blade, uh, damage? Eight, eight damage from eight that. damage, okay. Jeez. And then I'm going to take my opportunity to attack. Uh, or, or no, she didn't leave. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, I was assuming that she was going to keep moving. But, uh, all right. So she uh, sees everyone attacking her. Uh, and then she is going to. Fuck, oh, man. Uh, she's a bad spot. Wow. You're cornering her. Yeah, she is. Fuck, oh, man. Um, yeah, she is actually. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, she's going to bite Roxanne again. Sure. sure. Sounds uh, right. Uh, bite. Uh, now that misses. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, she she goes in for a bite, and then, oh, fuck, nah, nah, she's going to try to call her now. Oh, oh sure. Wow. <laughs> misses horribly. And then, uh, fuck, she's like, yeah. Um, ooh, she is in a bad spot um yeah she, she's just going to stand there and be like oh, if you're not with tarl i, I, I got nothing <laughs> Do it. uh sid you're up said to Eldrick blask is there a way you can get up there uh yeah he can go five feet up and he'd be able to see her yeah he got a 12. oh 12 does not hit you know super crowded got roxanne got a bear in the way tries to shoot through shoot shoot through all those limbs and can't find purchase gets um some of the the stone in the background That was it. Oh, he gets two blasts. Mm -hmm. Here's the next one. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. There's a kill. Yep. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. All right. 16 plus 8 plus 2, 3. Let's see. Uh, that'd be. Uh, fifteen plus seven, twenty-two plus three is twenty-five. What I got? Cause it's uh, yeah, d uh, ten plus a seven plus a five plus your three. So yeah, twenty-five. Uh oh yeah, she's looking really rough. Um, standing, but still really rough. Uh, anything else from Sid? Any movement, any bonus action? I'll take that as a maybe. <laughs> can I hear you? Uh, I can hear you now. Right, sorry. Any, uh, any more bonus actions <laughs> or movement? Okay. Uh, Higgs, you are up. Um, Higgs is going to be like, it's 
not the, the polite to bite people. Then I'm gonna hit it with Hexblade's curse now. Oh, there you go. And then uh, I'm gonna take the uh, booming blade shot here. Go for it. This is called a natural <laughs> twenty. It sure nice. is. <laughs> All right, so this, the <laughs> slashing damage doesn't matter. I guess, right? She's in, or she's resistant to. It. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'll just I'll roll it anyway. So here's, mm -hmm. the slashing damage would be. Uh, that sucks. Plus uh, eight, ten, plus seven. So seventeen. Seventeen. Slashing. Okay, and that's. And, uh... and Cause that was um that uh that's the, from the actual attack right right that so that's the plus the eight right so that'd be 10 plus where'd you get the other one from? Oh. yeah yeah, it was eight, yeah plus seven get eight plus two plus seven okay uh okay um the, the, no, eight. okay all right and then um okay so then the thunder damage is going to be two of these or light or yeah thunder damage is two of these Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, well, that, oh. well, wouldn't it be uh, six plus eight? Oh, well, I didn't know if you. Okay, yeah, if that's how you're gonna do it. Yeah. I didn't know if it was just weapon damage. That was the well, country one. Or... That's good enough, you know. Unless I figure I, I want to change that, but yeah, so that okay. would be another fourteen points. 14, yeah, and then so we'll just roll one necrotic dice. Ten more for necrotic. Okay, ten. And then, uh, <clears throat> then my hexblade curse. I believe it's three at this point. Uh, uh, hexblade curse is just a nineteen. Uh, oh, that's oh yeah, that's right. You uh, get yeah, extra. Plus yeah, three. Yeah, I'm three. Yeah, uh, plus three. So thirty-five mm -hmm. points of damage. Mm -hmm. How does that look? There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you watch your mouth. <laughs> come crashing down with this big blade strike with just all kinds of damage from everywhere. Yeah, so she starts getting pelted there. She sees her flesh golem, you know, just uh, man, oh, flesh handled. She uh, And then, you know, she gets, you know, the, the pin cushion treatment uh, bites and slashes and, and, and all the kind of magical attacks. Yeah, and you know Higgs comes in with the final blow and being disrespectful for all all the people in his party, and she goes down. Um, and unlike everything else so far, she still shows signs of her claws, her her fangs are real. You know, she was a a, a young vampire priest, um, but oh. you, you surrounded her. Um, uh, but yeah, that is the end of combat. Oh, I gotta check the body here. I told you this one was real. <laughs> it felt real. It wasn't cool. I'm checking the body. Where is... Uh, if you want to throw out an investigation check, that would right. be cool. Guidance. To help. Uh, 18 plus 220. Okay. Uh, with a 20, uh, she's got a coin purse on her. And in that coin purse, uh, is, uh, she was, she was carrying some coinage on her. Um, she has okay. 572 gold coins. Okay. There, this is, I mean, this this is not on her. This is around her. She had like a little foot chest or a little uh, chest there. Okay. So how much was it? Five hundred seventy-two. All right. And eighteen fifty-five silver pieces. This was in, like I said, a little uh, chest around her. She, on her, she had nothing. You know. Gotcha. All right. Um. With that, uh, what else is in this room? Um. So in this room, you also see the, the chair that she was sitting in. You see um, uh, an old, a, a lit lantern in there. 
I, I wooden trunk, which, you know, uh, had this, uh, this little hoard of uh, treasure in there. She also had some um, uh, disguise kits for uh, what you're presumed to be these other people <laughs> in there that uh, were trying to be like her, is what you would probably assume. Um, nice. But yeah, there's, uh, there's that. You see... You know, three skin flakes from this, uh, or skin flaps that she was like adding on to the skin golem or flesh okay. golem. Um, I'm gonna add a disguise kit to my. Let me come over here. Absolutely, yeah. There is, uh, there's at least uh, five complete ones and a couple like partial ones type of thing. Well, the, like it's there's a couple things missing out of it. Um, let's see what else is in. Let's see, you're, okay, you're gonna. Um, but yeah, that is most of, uh, there's also a, a bed to the, uh, Southwest. Um, but yeah, that is most of what was in that room. Yes. Uh, and on that note, I think, uh, I think, uh, this is pretty much where we're going to call the session just because, uh, uh, if you get more involved, it might take other things unless as, if there's anything else you want to do in this room. Uh, feel free to do so, but I think if we're going to try to explore out, uh, this is where we're going to call the session. So I don't know if anybody wants to say anything to anybody else, or yeah. I'm good. That's probably the best way to prepare for you, huh? I found some money in here. Yeah, yeah, she was. Uh... So on a side note, uh, the guy who did not get a chance to talk, uh, Tarl. <laughs> That was her husband, so she kept calling him Tarl, because I can't pronounce that name. Um, but yeah, that was her her husband, um, who wasn't a vampire or her her partner, I guess. Um, that's who she was looking at. She uh, always sees him as a uh, problematic, and always sees that they're always trying to blame each other for their wrongdoings. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, anything else from anybody else? Any anything from anybody before we call it a night? I know it's a um, little early, but yeah. Um, I will. I was just check, double checking the schedule, and I it looks like I only have to miss like two weeks in the next two months. Okay. Um, just based on the time, and next week happens to be one of the two times I I will not make it. So, if you guys are still on late. 